and welcome to Quizzy, an amazing tool that you can use with videos to create quiz games in a few languages, in fact, in 20 languages. We're going to focus on English this time. So let's get started. Let's get an account. If you have an account, you're going to go to the sign in at the top right. But before anything, I would check prices. Yes, prices are important because if you find that they do have a free version, then that's fine. But if they don't, I wouldn't even bother with the tool. But Quizzy does have a free version, which is great. So let's take a look at some of the features available on Quizzy. So we'll click on there. And then notice there's also a mobile option here where you can use it on your phone. This is great for students, of course, but also for anyone else who's using it, such as teachers. Notice uh, the features here. It's fast and really fast because it's based on an AI tool. It's data-driven learning and you can share a QR code or a link. So notice here what happens. You create games and students go into their mobile devices, into their phones, and that's where they play live. Or if you set it up for solo, they play solo on their own. You can also learn what others have to say about it. And you can take a look at those and try it for free, which is what we're going to do right now. We are going to try it for free. We'll get an account. I use Google, so I'll get an account with Google. You can also continue with Apple if you have an Apple account, or you can use your email and sign up that way. You'll need, of course, to verify your email, but that's done through the authentication system, which means that by clicking on continue with Google, it'll be authenticated. Notice that uh, you'll see this authentication required if you try to sign in when you haven't really signed up yet. So first step, of course, is to sign up. And once you do that, everything will work. And then you choose a video. Uh, this is a video tutorial showing you how to do things. You can watch that as well by going into next, 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 and then follow. It's really, really intuitive and very, very super easy to use Quizzy. And it's fast, really, really fast. So notice for the free version, you get three quizzes that you can develop by simply pasting a YouTube link that is not too short because otherwise it needs to have chapters or more so that uh, the quizzes can be created from it. So I added a YouTube video there. You can see it there and here it comes. Okay, we're going to stop that for now and notice you've got different levels, senior high school and other age levels. So let's, and of course, they're different. They're 20 languages. But once you do all that, you create the quiz or you don't really create it. Uh, Quizzy creates it for you. So I'm going to choose professional learning 25 and up and then click on create quiz. And here it comes. Now, it's really, really fast, even though it says one to six minutes, but it's a lot faster than six minutes. You don't have to wait that long. Notice the first two parts, extracting speech and analyzing the video, goes quite quickly. Detecting chapters, which is something that YouTube does, but in this case, uh, Quizzy does for you, so that uh, the information can be extracted from the chapters. So it's going to take a few more minutes 
In fact, it took less than two minutes to uh, get done. But in the meantime, you can just leave it, go do something else and come back and you'll find that it's ready for you. So that's really a wonderful there. Okay, so it did indeed take less than two minutes. Right, and ne next you'll notice the finish date. When do you want it finished by? So by default, it's two weeks. And there you've got the time as well. There's the calendar. And um, I'm going to choose Sunday, the last day of the month. But notice the edit button. That's where you can edit and make the change. So there, the 31st. And let's go on. We're going to hit go live because it's all ready. Now notice your options here. You can have no limit, which means that they can do it at their own pace. But if you're in the physical classroom, in the in-person classroom, you might want to have a limit so that everybody finishes by the same time and you can continue. That's for the classroom. Of course, they need their smartphones with them so that they can use appquizzy.ai. And then you're going, you can also preview notice, duplicate the quiz or delete it at any time. You get three for the first time and then it's renewed every Monday. If you use up the three quizzes that you have. All right, so those are all the features. You can see them. We're going to go live. Are you ready to go live? Here we go. We're going live before even previewing it. So here we go. There's the QR code for the students. You can also use the QR code. And let me get my camera here, my phone, and uh, scan the QR code so I can join the quiz as well. I'm going to copy the link in the description of this video so you can also try it out or you can use the QR code to try it out. Remember, there's till the end of the month and I may just extend it for even longer. You can also play solo. Okay, there's the play solo, if that's what you want to do. And then here we go. When you click on the play solo, if you're on your phone, you'll play solo on your phone. But if you're on your desktop computer, the way I am right now, it's going to take me there. And there it is. It plays the video. And there's how many days are left. To Hello, everyone, and welcome to Integrating Technology. That was the video. And here it is going to start with a question. So the first question is, what is the purpose of the connecting online event? And since I created this video and I organized the event, I should get all the answers correct. And there it is to provide free professional development programs. Question number two, how long does the connecting online event last? Well, I know how long it lasts, but notice this is a tricky question because you've got, it's three days. So you've got two options here and I chose the right one because the date was from February 23rd to the 25th. The next question is how can one register for connecting online event for the event? And of course, um, the answer is by creating an account and enrolling. Now, these are amazing questions and the options are even more amazing. I couldn't have done this on my own. Not as well as uh, Quizzy did. So how can participants interact during the event? 
and the answer is through forums, discussions, and email. And question number five, there are eight questions altogether. What are the requirements for completing the event? Well, the requirements are participation in activities and reflection on the sessions. And they had to create a book using Book Creator. The next one is how many presenters are there in the event? Now this has changed. It became 27 because we had an additional presenter. But when I had created this video, it was 26 presenters from 12 countries. I believe the countries stayed the same. How many, what types of certificates are available? This question, uh, the information is correct, but there were two certificates, one for the participants and one for the presenters. But in this case, it was certificate of completion or participation. That's the correct answer. And there, we're clicking on that one. Notice there's also don't know. I think that's wonderful to have a don't know choice question because sometimes we just don't know. So what are the main components of the event layout? This is the final question. And notice here the answer is, and you would have to listen to the video to be able to get this. It is not intuitive at all. You do have to know that it's overview, presenters, session support form, and announcements. And um, Quizzy could only get this information by actually watching the screen sharing video and the screen share in this particular case. So here you've got the questions and answers so that you can review your work. If you've made mistakes, you can learn and you can retake it, which is absolutely amazing because there's lots of learning here based on a YouTube video. Now we're going to go on to the next step. And the next step is to preview. Notice you've got correct, wrong, eight correct answers, not, no wrong ones, and you've answered everything. So we can check that in case we didn't get a perfect score as the participants. Notice we've got two remaining quizzes left. That's the one. We have no drafts. We could also take a look at my results. And this is for students. And also notice what's available. You can copy the link, get the results, preview it, extend the time from March 31st to maybe a longer time so that others can continue taking the quiz, watching the video and taking the quiz. I think this is a great way for students to engage with videos, but not only for students, for anyone who's interested in uh, gaining information. I think that's the best way to really know if you did or not. So this is what you get 100%. And as the organizer of this quiz, I also get information about how many participants how many questions were not answered, answered, don't know, and total appeals if they found that the answer that uh, Quizzy came up with is, was wrong. And also, and that's it. Thank you for watching.